hey y'all welcome back to another vlog today i figured i would share with you um, some pantry clean out videos um i was trying to make some space in my freezer and pantry to put other things <laughs> um so one of the first things i did was i went ahead and boiled all my scraps to make vegetable broth um and I just literally put all of my veggie scraps, zucchini, um, cabbage, carrots, onions, garlic, uh, celery, lettuce, like literally everything except for things that are spicy. So that would be like jalapenos. And then I also do not like putting bell peppers in there because um, I don't like the flavor of them. Um, Anyways, and then I canned that. I did not record that portion, but that is what I did with that. Um, here I am making meatballs and macaroni. Uh, this is one of my favorite food combinations. These are just some pre-made uh, multi-purpose meatballs that I made. Um, I just make a large batch of meatballs all at one time, like probably five pounds of meat, and then put them on sheet pans and freeze them in the freezer. And then as I want them, I pull them back out. Um, so I went ahead and threw a little bit of uh, applesauce, not applesauce, apple juice in there. Um, that's what I like to cook my meatballs in. And then I um, throw that on the stove. I'm over here making my macaroni. I started with some butter and then I just have a little bit of heavy whipping cream left that I went ahead and threw in there. Um, after those get hot, I went ahead and threw in a little bit of milk and, um, just some shredded cheese. Uh, you can literally make macaroni with whatever cheese you have on hand. I just happened to have some like, I want to say it was like Fiesta blend or something from Walmart. Like that's, it's literally just the yellow and white cheese that they have in the five pound bags. Um, I made some macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving and I literally just used, um, cream cheese, sliced American cheese, like the slices, <laughs> craft slices. And then I had some pepper jack cheese and I threw that in there. It was delicious. Um, so anyways, I'm stirring my meatballs. You can see that they're mostly thawed. There are a few pieces that are still frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sauce. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> um, and I like to add about 50% ketchup and 50% barbecue sauce. I think barbecue sauce tends to be too sweet. So um, I'm just going to put that in there, mix it all together. There's the juices from the meat plus the apple juice that I added. Um, and then I'm just going to cover that back up and let the meatballs cook all the way through. And once they're cooked through, I'll take off the lid and let the sauce reduce, um, just to get a thicker sauce. Um, I did not record all of that because let's be honest, nobody <laughs> wants to sit there and watch a pot simmer for 20 minutes or something. I don't know. Anyways, apparently I thought it needed a little bit more sweetness. So I added a tiny bit more um, barbecue sauce. Anyways, this was the final result. Like I said, this is one of my favorite meal combinations. Um, yeah. Also, if you want to know what the most important seasoning in macaroni and cheese is, the answer is pepper. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, we had about two meals worth of, um, barbecue meatballs to eat, but there was more than that of macaroni. So my favorite way to use up leftover macaroni is to make um, ma chili mac. And usually I have like a frozen bag of chili in the freezer. However, for some reason at this point in time, we did not have any frozen bags of chili. And so I just made some makeshift chili and I threw um, a rinsed can of red kidney beans in and I sliced up a tomato and... Um, half of a jalapeno just to give it a little peppery deliciousness. Um, and then I threw in some taco seasonings. Um, what I used was cumin and then this fajita seasoning that I'm trying to use up. Um, I actually didn't buy it. My sister did and it was too spicy for her. So she's like, Hey, can you take this? <laughs> 
So um, I've just been using it in literally anything that has, you know, taco flavoring, fajita flavoring. So like I'll put some in my chili, I'll put some on my fajitas, I'll put some in my tacos, and then I will dress it up with other seasonings. Um, I also threw in a little bit of salt because I added some unsalted stuff and a little bit of garlic. And then I just mixed it up just a hair so that the seasonings weren't just sitting on top and then threw it in the microwave for a while. Um, this chicken is not actually part of this recipe, but I didn't stop recording, so <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm doing. I have three pounds of chicken here that I'm planning on grilling. Um, and then this is my favorite... I want to say it's called the gourmet collection. Um, my mom gets it at Tuesday mornings. It is the best chicken seasoning. It's called garlic and onion. Um, I've tried to find it on, uh, Amazon and it is very hard to find the specific flavor. Anyways, anytime she goes to Tuesday mornings and they have it, she buys it. It's my favorite chicken seasoning. Um, so yeah, if you happen to come across it, I would strongly recommend it. Uh, and then I'm just going to put a lid on those and throw them into the refrigerator to continue marinating until I am ready to grill them. Uh, and then I am at home with my kids by myself whenever I'm recording this video. And so I uh, am going to make children pleasing meals. Actually, Carter, one of Carter's favorite foods is this chili mac. I very specifically remember the first time I ever made it for him. It was probably about April of 2019. So he was almost a year old and I made some chili mac and I was like, oh yeah, surely this will be enough for Cameron, myself, and Carter. And I went ahead and diced up some avocado and threw it on top. And then we literally just sat outside on the sidewalk because it was like one of the first nice days, you know, where it was like sunny and warm and uh, so great. I'm dreaming of springtime right now. <laughs> Anyways, I um, we sat outside and ate that and I'm pretty sure Carter ate most of the bowl by himself. Um, so <laughs> anyways, and now I'm just making a super quick, um, fruit salad because I'm just trying to get stuff that my kids will eat in front of them. They're not picky eaters, but this was just easy. Um, so I drained a can of mandarin oranges. I drained and rinsed a can of peaches. And then I also drained and rinsed a can of pears and I just, the mandarins I just threw in. The, to the tomatoes, the peaches and pears I diced up. And then I sliced up some bananas and a couple of, a couple of grapes, <laughs> some grapes and mixed it all together and called it fruit salad. And my kids gobbled it up. So, uh, yeah, don't, you don't have to make fancy stuff for your kids. I generally don't take shortcuts like this, but this was a day that I believe Cameron was probably working late and so I was at home with two kids by myself and um, sometimes they're like hangry like for instance last night whenever I was making dinner I was bulk making food I was making myself myself and Cameron lunches for the rest of the week and I was also making dinner and we didn't actually eat until like 7 o'clock, which is kind of late. Usually we eat by like 6.30, 6, 6.30. Um, anyways, it was kind of late and they were just so cranky about everything. <laughs> oh, I get it. I can relate. Sometimes I get hangry too, but their hangry is like difficult to deal with. So anyways, um, that is what I fed my kids. Um, I, <laughs> I can, if you can't tell, these are not recorded recently. These are probably from like the end of summer. Um, and we were trying to make room in our pantries and freezers and stuff for canned goods that were coming in. And, um, also hunting season is right around the corner. And so we wanted to make room for any uh deer meat that we 
needed to put in the freezer. Our freezer is completely packed right now, so we are back into empty out the freezer mode. Um, but I haven't been recording any new food content because I have all of this food content that I just... I still recorded over the summer even though I was completely discouraged about YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I'm trying to get all that content used up. So you're going to see some old stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I hope this gave you some inspiration to use up leftovers or stuff in your freezer or literally anything. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Have you been cleaning out your freezer? I feel like that's a good way to start out the year by being like, oh, let's start cleaning out this freezer. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.